Oh, bonjour tout le monde, euh, bienvenue à la première activité euh, de la JBL. Euh, donc, euh, on est vraiment content de, de commencer tout ça. Euh, je vais laisser euh, Julie Antoine à la DG du LQ commencer avec ça. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Je suis vraiment contente que vous soyez parmi nous aujourd'hui, euh, malgré les circonstances exceptionnelles dans lesquelles on vit. D'ailleurs, on vous propose aujourd'hui un, un atelier de yoga en ligne pour pouvoir euh, faire un peu le, le, le vide dans l'intérieur de nous, puis euh, aborder des situations exceptionnelles un peu plus euh, de façon zen. Donc euh, aujourd'hui, c'est euh, Nicole John qui va nous faire une séance de yoga d'une heure. Euh, Nicole John fait du yoga depuis plus de 14 ans. Elle est allée à Bali, elle est allée en Inde pour se former. Puis grâce au yoga, elle a trouvé vraiment un sentiment de sérénité à travers elle. Et c'est pourquoi euh, aujourd'hui, elle veut partager ce sentiment-là avec les autres et euh, avec toutes les femmes de la diversité sexuelle aujourd'hui à travers la journée de visibilité lesbienne. Donc, euh, je vous laisse euh, cette heure-ci avec euh, la merveilleuse Nicole Jones. Vous pouvez suivre sur son site internet sur www.nicolejonesyoga.com. Bon yoga! Hi everybody, it's such an honor to be here with all of you to uh, celebrate um, women who are part of sexual diversity and it's just an incredible initiative that uh, is taking place today in light of everything that's going on in the world. Um, as is already mentioned, it's really a practice that's going to allow you to find your center and just take a few moments to tune inward, get grounded and uh, listen to your body and your breath. So I'll ask that you all come to a seated position and uh, you can start with eyes closed if um, sitting on your shins does not feel good for your body you can do it cross-legged and then just a few moments to close the eyes relax your hands down and pause here c'est vraiment juste un moment pour écouter notre corps et notre respiration and when we close the eyes we can uh, listen to what's going on on the inside There is a lot going on in the world right now. And when we focus our attention outward, we can really get um, caught up and distracted in all of that noise. And what this practice does, and what my intention is for all of you today, is really just to press pause on all of the noise and to truly drop in to get a little bit more centered to what's going on within you. So when we close our eyes and we give ourselves the time to listen, to feel, to what's going on internally, we create the capacity to handle what happens on the outside with a little bit more ease. So no matter what your reason is for showing up today, you're supporting a beautiful day, a beautiful cause, and you're taking time to take care of you, which is incredibly powerful and significant. Avec les yeux fermés, just take time to listen. To listen to what is present inside of you all the time. When we pay attention to the external stuff, we can get really sidetracked and forget to listen. Just three full cycles of breath. Where you pay attention to the inhale, and notice what happens in the body. And maybe there's something that you let go or find more ease as you exhale. And do that two more times. Uh, the last one to be really purposeful and stay awake and present with it. And maybe more air comes into the body as the shoulders rise up and down. Before we create any movement in the body, I want you to just take a moment to drop in and set an intention for your practice. 
So it could be one word. It could be something to anchor you back so that if you get distracted, you've got a method to pull you right back to your center. I wish you all a really beautiful practice. Listen to your body. Modify any postures if they don't feel right for you. Just really enjoy this hour of self-care that you're giving your body on a really special day. Bring the arms out in front of you and create a table shape. So the hands are underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. And then just let the belly drop down and look forward. So an opening in the chest. And then as you round the spine, bring the chin to the chest and press up in between the shoulder blades. Let the nose a flat. Drop the belly down, look forward. So opening in the chest. And then round the spine, chin comes into the chest. Just a way to move in the spine. We'll do it one more time. So inspire, drop the belly, look forward. And the opposite happens when you exhale. So chin to chest and press up in between the shoulder blades. And then find a really sweet spot in between so the spine is nice and long. And then lengthen your left leg. So jam gauche <laughs> behind you. And then reach your right arm forward. So what we're doing is creating a counterbalance in the body. So what the focus becomes is the center. So in order to stay stable, we have to reach in opposite ways and let the eyes just settle at one point out in front. It could be right down to the left hand, but make sure the breath is present. Take an inhale to stretch the heel and the fingertips a little bit further away. And then round the spine and touch your elbow to your thigh right underneath your belly and round your spine a lot. And do that two more times. So inhale to reach your heel away, your fingertips away. And then round the spine and touch the two together. Make sure you hear your breath. Do that one more time. Lengthen the heel, lengthen the fingertips. And then round the spine and touch the two together. And lowering the hand down and the knee down back to table. And just one more time with that cat and cow position. Drop the belly down, look forward. So again, noticing what feels tight in the body. And then round the spine and bring the chin into the chest. And come to a flat back. But it's the right leg this time. So right heel back. And then left arm forward. And the idea is really just to pay attention to where you maybe fa uh, fall a little bit to one side or you lose your center. But let the breath and your focus keep you really focused in on that midline. And we'll do that same thing we did on the other side. So full breath in, lengthens you out. And then round the spine and touch the elbow to the thigh underneath the belly. And stay present with it. So inhale, lengthen, reach apart. And then elbow comes in towards the thigh underneath. Do that one more time. So lengthen the arm, lengthen the heel. And then round the spine and touch the two together. And then lower the hand down, lower the knee down. And one last time, same thing like we did before, drop the belly down and look forward. Notice that there's a difference from the beginning. And then round the spine, chin to chest, and let the head fall in. Let yourself come to that flat back position. Curl your toes under. And then we're gonna lift up to downward facing dog. So those of you that know what that shape is, the bum lifts up to your ceiling. You wanna get really solid in the hands and the feet. And then just let the eyes look back to your toes. Just a couple breaths here. Deux ou trois inspirations complètes. You can just notice how the backs of the legs feel, what feels tight. And sometimes when we hold postures, we even forget to breathe. So paying attention to your cycle of breath, allowing yourself just to settle and notice how this shape feels in your body. Let the heels lift as high away from the ground as you can. Notice how that feels in the soles of the feet. And then press the heels down and back towards the back of your mat. One more time like that. Let the heels rise nice and high. And then press them down and back. And let the toes come a little bit closer to touch. And we're going to lift the left leg up and back towards your ceiling. 
So just notice how the lift in the leg feels and responds in your body. Take your eyes in between your thumbs and step the foot in between them. Lower down the right knee to the ground and bring your hands on your front thigh. Je vais rester ici, lever les bras en haut. So reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. And you can look forward or up to the ceiling. The idea here is to open through the right hip. And then if you feel okay in your back, you can maybe look up to the ceiling and just notice how that responds to your body. Really important that the breath stays fluid and rhythmic here. You know, that inspiration complete. And lift the arms a little bit taller up to the ceiling and then bring the fingertips down to the ground and we're going to shift our weight back so we straighten the front leg as much as you can so this might not be easy in some bodies but we're going to press the heel into the ground and let the toes point towards your face and the more pressure that you put into the heel the more opening that will happen behind the leg and just notice what comes up in terms of sensations in the body the breath changes, and just stay with that deep opening behind the leg. Soften in the face, sometimes we hold tension there where we don't need to. So looking at the front of our mat, we're gonna flatten out the front foot, curl the toes under, and lift the back knee away from the ground. Bring your hands onto your front thigh, and press so that the torso rises all the way up. You can stay right here, or reach the arms tall up to the ceiling. So this is called crescent lunge, a little bit more power in this shape. The priority is always to focus on the breath. And again, coming back to center so that you stay more stable in. Maybe you have more length as you breathe in, the arms rise taller up, and then soften if you can on the exhale. So big inhale, stretch the arms up, bring the hands down to the ground and step back Position de cloche. So plank position, heels right on top of the toes. So this requires a lot of strength and power in the body. Press the ground, so the ground away and the toes as well. Press up in between the shoulder blades. Take one breath in. Drop the knees to the ground and lower all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet press down into the ground and lift your chest up to baby cobra. So all we're trying to do is wake up in the back body. Maybe the hands lift away from the mat. See if you can create a little bit more space, lift the chest up. Place the hands down, use the knees, and right back to that V shape, downward facing dog. So the eyes settle back to the toes. And just a couple breaths here. Sometimes it feels good to move a little bit where you can stay stable as you look towards the feet. Watch how the body moves in the subtle way as you breathe in and out. So maybe the shoulders shift, the belly, the chest. Pay attention to the subtleties. And then same thing, other side. So l'autre côté, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. So pay attention to it as it rises. And then nice and slow, step the foot in between the thumbs. Drop the left knee to the ground. Bring your hands on your front thigh. Go to CC or reach the arms up towards the ceiling. So lengthen nice and tall and keep the breath nice and fluid as you create space on side of the legs. Maybe you look up towards the ceiling. Lift the arms just a little bit taller up and then place the hands down on the mat. Shift your weight back so now we're opening behind the right leg. Let the heel root down and toes to your face. So staying here just a few moments to allow the back of the right leg to open up. We spend a lot of time in our mind. It is so easy to get distracted and go elsewhere. But the practice is really just to come back. So either to intention, the way the breath is moving, or how the body feels in each shape that we create. One more breath here. And flatten out the front foot. We're going to lift the same way. Pick up uh, the back knee, toes curl under, and bring your hands on your front thigh. Use this to stabilize yourself, to rise the chest up, and lift the arms up towards the ceiling. 
So crescent lunge. And just a few breaths here to be with the strength without losing sight of your center and softness in the face. Une autre fois. And then reach the arms even taller up towards the ceiling. Hands come down to the ground. Position de planche. So step your right foot back, pied ensemble, press up in between the shoulder blades, and really strong and dynamic here. Take one breath in. And you can use your knees or not, and we'll lower straight all the way down to the belly. Like we did before, lift the chest, so this is baby cobra posture, and then press back, downward facing dog. So that V shape in the body, bum rises up, and eyes back to the toes. Make your body settle in the moments of stillness in between the shapes. And then let the heels really rise high and take as many steps as you need to get all the way to the top of your mat. Lengthen the spine, hands onto the shins. And then just fold in a really passive way in towards your legs. So, pied en deux. One more time. Inhale, bring your hands onto your legs. So, create a flat back. And then fold your body forward on the exhale. This time, we're going to go all the way up to stand. Reach the arms above your head. Lengthen nice and tall. And then bring hands right to the center of your chest. And just take a moment here to close the eyes. A moment to see, just to be still. And with eyes closed, you can actually notice the subtle movements that your body does forward and back, side to side. It's really what happens in life with all the noise on the outside and what's going on in the world. It'll repeatedly take us off our center. The more that we work at finding our center, the more we can ride the waves with more ease. So take a moment here to come back to your intention, why you're showing up today. Just really allow this time to be a way to center yourself, to get rooted, to get grounded, and to enjoy the time self-care that you're giving yourself, but for a greater cause that's incredibly powerful when we come together as a collective. Enjoy your practice, everybody. Relax the arms by your side. Reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling, look up, and then fold your body forward up and over the legs. Inhale to lengthen, bring your hands onto your legs, bring the chest forward. And then simply fold up and over the legs. So a really passive shape in the body. Do the same thing. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach the arms above your head. And then bring the hands right to the center of your chest. And then we'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach. So we're creating space on the side of the waist. Fold your body forward up and over legs. Inhale, to lengthen. Hands come onto your legs so that the back is nice and flat. And then fold in towards the legs on the exhale. This time we'll rise all the way up to stand, make sure the back is safe, look up to the ceiling, and then hands come to the center of your chest. This time rise the arms all the way up, interlace your fingertips and release the index finger. So the body is really nice and long. Inspire, you see, and then go to your right on the exhale. So a little bit of space on the left side of your body, going to a point where you can open up deeply, Feel the stretch, but still breathe. You've got space to go a little bit further towards the right. And then let feet support you as you rise back up to center. Pause here a moment. And then re-lengthen nice and tall up. And then à côté gauche. So lean over to the left so you open on the right side. A moment or so to open the opposite side of the body. Okay, you can breathe and create more space. Reach all the way up to center. Separate the hands and look up to the ceiling. So you're going to press the hips forward, a little back bend as you open through the front of the body. 
And then rise out of that position and fold your body forward up and over the legs. Lengthening the spine, hands onto the legs, chest comes forward. And then fold nice and passive in towards the legs. Bend your knees a lot, you key ensemble, and then lift the arms up above your head. Reaching the arms nice and tall. You might look up between the palms. You'll definitely feel this into the legs as you create that strength here. The eyes look at one point. Take one breath in. Bring the hands to the center of your chest. Pause here for a moment, position de la pierre. Inhale here. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. So using this to create space to twist in the spine as you look over to the right. Keep the knees glued together. You'll feel this into the quads and just creating this rotation within the body. Let feet support you as you unravel through center. Give the legs a break. Rise all the way up. Look between the hands. Hips forward. Fold forward. Pie under. And you lower all the way down to the ground. Lengthen the spine. Hands onto the shins. Fold on the exhale. Let the bum sit low again. Rise the arms all the way up to the ceiling. So a bend in the knees as the bum reaches back. Long in the spine. Take a breath here. Hands to the center. So position de la pierre. Take another breath here. And then on the exhale, twist. So elbow hooks to the outside of the thigh and twist over to the left. So pausing here as you create that rotation in the body. Notice if the breath stops as you stay in the shape. Same exit, rise all the way up to stand, les bras en haut, look up, and then fold forward, pli en deux. Inspire, chest comes forward, flat back. On the exhale, position de la planche. So step back so that you're strong in plank. Press the ground away, heels on top of the toes, and eyes are down. Take a breath here. Drop the knees to the ground and lower all the way down to the stomach. Looking down to the mat three times, inhale, lift the chest up as much as you can. As you exhale, lower down. Two more times like that. Inhale, rise the chest. And exhale to lower down. Dernière fois ici, inspire, levé. Et descend sur l'expiration. Hands beside the chest, press back, to child's pose, position de la pain, knees wide, bum back, and just rest here with hands underneath your head for a couple breaths just to settle into this shape. Let's notice where the mind goes in moments that you're given to pause. You just stay with sensations in the body and the way the breath is moving in and out. Une autre respiration ici. Bring the hands out in front of you. Create a table shape. Knees come underneath. And like we did at the beginning, lower the belly down, look forward. And then round the spine, chin to chest. So press up in between the shoulder blades. And let your body come to a flat back. Curl the toes under, and then the bum's gonna lift up, downward facing dog. Quelques respirations ici. Notice the difference from the beginning to now. If the backs to the legs are a little bit more open than they were before. And just one more breath. And then this time it's gonna be the right leg that lifts up first. So right leg lifts up and back, look towards the toes, jambe droite. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then step the foot in between the thumbs. 
So here we won't drop the left knee down to the ground, but you're gonna bring your hands on your front thigh. So use that as a support to rise the chest all the way up. To reach the arms to join you in the posture as the arms lift up to the ceiling. So press it lunge exactly like we created before. So we have the knee on the ground. And if you've got space, then lift the chest up and maybe look up to the ceiling. So a little back bend. And this opens deeply in the front of the chest and the heart. Take one breath to lengthen the arms up. Hands to the center of your chest. So position de la pierre. Lift your chest up and lean forward. Take your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. So we're doing a twist in the lunge as you pivot the chest over to the right and look over towards your elbow or just to that side of your space. And again, it's your center and our groundedness that keep us supported here. So look down to the ground and then unravel that. Rise the arms all the way up to the ceiling. And open up to warrior two. So warrior two, let the front knee be right on top of the ankle. Back foot is parallel. And then reach the arms out and look over your front hand. So create lots of strength in the body as you look over the hand. Make sure you're breathing. Flip the front palm up to the ceiling and reach up and back. So the whole right side of the body opens up. You can even look up to the ceiling. Look at the O as you're creating space on the right side. Côté droit. And use breath to bring your right forearm to rest on top of your thigh. Open through the chest and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. So triangle position, strong through the legs. Let your breath bring you back up. So back to warrior two. Look over your front hand, stretch the arms apart. Take an inhale here. And then cartwheel the hands down. So that means just bring them to the top of your mat. Pick up your back heel. And here, just come on the fingertips and thumbs and straighten your front leg as much as you can. So this might not be super accessible in your body, but it's a deep, a nice opening stretch. So go to the point where you can lengthen the legs as much as you can. And take another breath, maybe lengthen the spine forward. Find a little bend in the front knee, plant the hands and step back, position de planche. So heels on top of the toes and press the ground away. Take a breath here and drop the knees to the ground and chest and belly land. Inhale to lift the chest. Cobra like we did before, and then press back, downward facing up. So bum reaches up to the ceiling and look back to your toes. And just a couple moments here to breathe, to settle in. Totally normal if you are sweating or if the temperature in your body changed. Just be with what rises to the surface. And try to keep the focus on the breath or how the body is shifting between the positions that we create. D'autre côté, so it's côté gauche, lift your leg all the way up, look back to the toes. Keep the leg nice and strong as you step in between the thumbs. We'll take a moment to rise, so hands will come on the front thigh. Use that to press your way up and reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. So really strong, powerful shape. Feel that in your body as you rise the arms up. And then maybe the chest lifts up. So a little back bend here. So we open through the front of our body. And sometimes we wanna close that area in to protect, but this allows it to open up. And then we'll rise the arms up. Hands to the center, so position de prière. Get your chest forward, so lengthen, and then we're gonna create the twist. So right elbow to the outside as you twist over to the left. So creating that rotation in the body, breathing deeply. Maybe you look to your back elbow. And again, it's your center that keeps you stable as you rise all the way up through middle, arms rise. And take time to come into get me here. So warrior two, back foot is parallel to your mat. Front knee right on top of the ankle. 
and reach the arms up. So the arms are just as solid and strong as the legs. So one point of focus at the foot. Let your front palm flip. Exalted warrior, peaceful warrior, reach up and back. So the left side of the body opens up. Let your breath bring your arm forward. So triangle, position the triangle. Reach your right arm up and look up towards the ceiling. Really strong in the base, so in our legs. Look up. Let legs be solid as you rise back up, warrior two. Another moment here. Inspiration complete ici. And take another inhale. And then cartwheel, so hands to the top of the mat on the exhale. Pick up your back heel so your knee is safe. And then straighten the front leg any amount. So if you might not be able to, but see if you can keep a little bend, you're still gonna get a really nice stretch in the back of the leg. Just two breaths here. Last one. And a little bend in the knee will allow you to bring your hands flat. Position de planche. So left foot back, heels right on top, press the ground away. Une expiration ici. Descend sur l'expiration, with the knees or not, all the way down to the belly. Once you come down to the ground, interlace your fingertips just above your bottom. Press the feet down first, lift the chest up, lift the knuckles, and then maybe you lift the legs away from the ground. So the whole back of your body will open up as you look out in front. Lift a little bit higher if you can, and then softly lower down. Just take a moment to stack the hands and let's rest your forehead right on top and pause here for a moment to eyes closed. And sometimes we're not used to Moments of silence or stillness. I'm going to occupy them with things or thoughts. So see if you can just train yourself to pay attention to the breath in and out. So just an inspiration. Respire profondément, deep within the belly. Access the full capacity of your lungs. Notre respiration complète. And then let hands come beside the chest. Press back, table shape. And then one time, drop the belly down, look forward. Round the spine, bring the chin into the chest. Feel the difference from the beginning to now. Let the back be nice and flat. Curl the toes under and lift your bum up. Downward facing dog. So that V shape in your body. And let your heels lift really high away from the ground. And you can actually take steps to the top of your mat if you want. You can bend your knees and then hop your feet forward. Lengthen hands onto your shins, flat back, and then fold. So Pied, les genoux, les mains en dessous les pieds. So stand on your hands and you bring your toes all the way to the crease of your wrist. So we can all do this if we bend our knees a lot. Your bum will lift up, the elbows out to the sides and then drop the head down. So it's like a sandwich in your body. And let the head fall heavy. You can close the eyes and stretch the legs as much as you'd like. So the backs of the legs open up. Activate les jambes complètement. The bum lifts up a little bit higher if you can. One more time. Let the hands come out. Bring your hands onto your shins, lift the chest. Bring your hands onto your hips and rise all the way up. 
So arms by your side, close the eyes, rest ici. Trois respirations complètes. Les yeux fermés. And just observe how the body feels from the beginning to now. See if you can be really aware with how short or maybe how long the breath is. Without judgment, stay with it. And we have one more full cycle of breath here. We'll keep that focus, but we'll bring our hands on our hips. A little bit of a bend in the knee, so pied des genoux. You're going to put your weight into your right leg and wrap the left thigh over top. So this might be challenging in your balance. Good if it is. Bring the thigh right on top. Press the hip bones forward, lift the chest. You can keep your hands on your hips or reach the arms up to the ceiling. But I want you to squeeze the thighs completely au centre de votre corps. Restez ici et regardez à un point avant vous. Arms nice and tall up to the ceiling. So whenever we throw our balance off, it's really hard to find our center. This applies in other areas of our life, and we just learn how to do that here on our mat. Looking at one point as you squeeze the thighs together. Respiration complete. Bring the hands to the center of your chest, so right in front of your heart, and bring the left thigh up to parallel. So point the toes down, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders back. And we're going to point our left leg behind us as we keep our hands to our center and find a T-shape in the body. So we're going to wake up the left glute, point the toes back, and then can you hinge your body forward as you look down to the ground. So it's like you're creating a T-shape as you create this power through your whole body. So recognize this might be challenging if you fall out of your balance. No judgment. And then from here, you may ignite a little bit of fear or challenge in our body. I want you to lean forward and hinge as much as you can without using your hands. So how much can you lean down and trust yourself to come down, to come down, to come down, and only at the last moment do the hands touch the ground. Take a moment to lift your leg as high up as you can and then lower it right beside the right foot at the top. Bring your hands onto your shins, flat back and hold here. We get really tight in the backs of the legs, so this allows us to open it up. Bring your hands onto your hips, so les hanches, and then lift all the way up. Relax the shoulders back and away, and rest the palms just to face forward one breath. Keeping that focus, hands onto your hips. Plie votre jambe gauche, and then lift your right leg up and over. Main position de l'autre côté, so it's called eagle. Squeeze the thighs together, the hips are facing the front. Les bras en haut, and then we'll get one point. And we'll create tension in the shoulders or the face, see if you can relax there. As you stay in the shape. And hands to the center of your chest. So position de pierre. Lift your right thigh up, toes point down. Take a moment to lengthen the spine. And then this toppling position, reach your heel behind you, point the toes. And then you're really just finding a point of balance in the body. It doesn't matter how high the leg is. Be gentle with yourself if you fall out. Just creating instability, instability in the body so we know how to stabilize when things like this happen. And same thing we tried on the other side. Start to lean the chest forward. So we're hinging, we're hinging. Maybe you get a little bit lower to the ground and it's only at the last moment do the hands touch the ground. Take a breath here. Lower the foot right beside the left one at the top. Bring your hands onto your legs. 
Hold in. So, key on the Notre foi. Lengthen the spine. Hands onto the shins. This time, as you fold, hands down, position de la planche. So, come back. Bring your heels right on top of the toes. Resté ici. So, you can always do this with knees down if it's too hard for your body. Otherwise, bring them right back up. And find your strength and power here. Stay here. Notice if this requires you to breathe a little bit deeper or if the body starts to shake, that's fine. Drop the knees to the ground. Descend complètement. So nice and slow, all the way down to the belly. So here, kick your heels into your bum and reach your fingertips to your feet. So for most bodies, you might not be able to grab your ankles, so that's totally fine. I want you to lift your chest, lift your legs, and lift your fingertips. You can grab your ankles, hold on to them, and back body starts to open. But this is perfectly fine if the chest rises. Take two breaths. One more time. And on the exhale, lower. Position de l'enfant. Knees wide, bum goes back. And then just rest your hands underneath your head or out in front. So a couple breaths here. Last breath. Let's actually take one more, full and complete. And then we'll let our arms lengthen forward, come up into the table. The knees come closer in. It is okay. Lift your bum up. Downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. And then we'll lift the heels really high away from the ground. And you can hop or take as many steps as you want till you get all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your hands onto your shins, so flat back. Bring your hands onto your hips and rise all the way up to stand. So we're going to put our weight into our right foot. Tree position. Position de l'arbre. Bring your left knee out. Place your foot anywhere on the inside of your leg. So for this one, it's really nice to place it on the calf. Just want to avoid your knee, or you could bring it up all the way to the inside of your thigh. And then let your eyes focus on one point. It may, it may all sound good. You can stay here, or you can reach your arms up to the ceiling. And then just look at one point and find stability here. Another way to teach ourselves how to get grounded and rooted, using our breath and ability to focus. Two more of your own cycles of breath here. And let your hands come to the center. Let your knee come forward and switch sides. So let the left leg, if you did the other side, that's totally fine. And then bring your foot anywhere on the inside of your leg. And then maybe you try something different with the arms. So maybe one arm is up. Maybe hands to center. Look down and forward. N'importe quoi avec les bras. The priority is the focus, the centering, and the breath in and out. More full cycle here. And let the knee come forward, lower the foot down, and feet together. Stand at the top of your mat, most of you should probably be there. And we'll reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling, look up. And then fold your body forward up and over the legs. Lengthening your spine quite a bit, chest comes forward. And then hands are going to come down. You're going to go back to position de la planche. So, la planche. so you're going to get your heels right on top. Hands press away. You can do this with knees down if you like. So last time we're going to ignite the core. See if you can find that power within to stay in the shape. 
Just two more cycles of breath. Notice if you have to drop the knees or if you can just maintain this here. Towards the end of that exhale, we'll let the knees drop. And nice and slow, lower down to the belly. Once you come down to the stomach, shimmy yourself so that you're all the way on your mat, just in case you're not. Then step. Bring your left knee out to the side. So this is called frog position. And then you're going to look to your left. Rest your ear on the mat. So it's starting to slow the practice down, so less physical effort. But you still want to stay tuned into the breath. More towards deep internal stretches that are happening instead of physically challenging our body. Two more breaths here. Just let your head come back to center. Switch so the leg length is out. And switch to the other side. Okay, so the knee comes out right in line with the hip. Look in the opposite direction. So when we're on our stomach, you'll feel your breath in a different way. Maybe pay attention to the rise and fall of the back. It's where you're paying attention to your body or your breath as opposed to lost in the thoughts. Just a couple more breaths here. Slowly as you came into it, lengthen the leg behind you. Just take a moment to pause in the center so the hips relax, the forehead relaxes down. And use the support of your hands to come to a seated position for a moment. So you want to be about midway down your mat. It's painful to sit on your heels and straighten your legs out, but just rest here for a moment so the hands can rest on your thighs. This is your thumb knee. Just a couple moments uh, to notice. Especially if yoga is new to you and you're not used to slowing down. Um, it's practice to be able to find your center, to actually listen to our breath, to pay attention to the subtleties. When we learn how to do that, we can take that skill off of our mat. Again, coming right to your center. Just take two more breaths here. We'll let our bum sit to one side, it doesn't matter which one, and lengthen the legs out in front of you, but let your knees be bent. So your feet flat, your spine nice and long, and the arms right out in front of you. So here you're gonna feel this in your core, hopefully. <laughs> and you can go really fast all the way down to the ground or nice and slow. So the slower that you go, the more that you'll feel that in your center. So don't let the feet lift. If you have pain in your lower back, then you might want to go down a little bit quicker. But see if you can look between the hands and then just moment by moment, allow the shoulders to drop so the bum stays down. Feel that in the low belly. And feel maybe a tension in your quads, in your thighs, lower part of the abdomen as you slowly come down to the ground. Once you come down on the ground, les genoux ensemble, bring your hands on your stomach, fermé les yeux, restez ici. Respiration complete, just paying attention. And when you have your hands on your stomach, you could actually feel the movement, uh, the rise and fall as you breathe in and out. Just trying to slow the system down and creating a sense of calm in your body.
do that by letting the focus be inward and to the subtleties that are happening within myself to quiet and the noise that happens on the outside. Deux autres respirations complètes. Separate the knees, let the feet be flat, bring your hands behind your heels, look to the ceiling, don't move your head or neck so that you're safe, and then feet flat and lift your hips up towards the ceiling, roll your shoulders underneath so you can squeeze the back body so your glutes like engage, feel a stretch in the quads, look up to the ceiling as you feel that full um, line opening on the front of your body. Restez ici pour deux respirations complètes. After the last exhale, take one more in breath. Descendre sur l'expiration. Once you lower down, les pieds ensemble, knees to the side, hands on the belly again, so this butterfly posture. Quelques respirations ici, you'll feel this through the inner thighs and the groin, but think softness in the body, just slowing the system down. So I'll have two more cycles of breath. Notice if there's resistance to stillness or discomfort when it's quiet. Just lean into that. Get a little bit curious with why. Allow the knees to come um, in towards one another. You can bring the arms out like a T. And bring your bum to the right. So, votre fesse à côté droite. Descend les genoux, côté gauche. So, a twist in the body, supine twist, so that you're on your back. You can even bend your elbows if it's too much in the shoulders. The idea is just to create a little rotation in your body. You can let your head flop if that feels better for your neck. But try to close the eyes. So, yeux fermés, si c'est possible. So that the focus is still inward. So, à l'intérieur. To outward. I'm curious with the silence, where the thoughts go. Continuously anchoring yourself back either to your intention or just how the body feels here. Take the time, genou au centre, come back to center. Restez ici pour une respiration complète. And then the arms stay the same. Les fesses au côté gauche, les jambes au côté droit. Twist to l'autre côté. Restez ici, les yeux fermés. Les autres respirations complètes. Amenez les genoux au centre. Once the feet are flat, the bottom is flat. Bring your knees in and, like a small little ball, squeeze your whole body in. So you might tuck your head in towards your chest. 
then Shavasana, so position, relaxation, relaxation. <laughs> and then feet apart, relax the arms by your side. Dieu fermé. Just a couple moments here before we end the practice to be completely still on your back. Shavasana is included in a practice so that we give ourselves the integration time to absorb what we created in our system. So give yourself that chance here to do nothing, no matter what you've got coming up with your day. Let yourself enjoy just a few moments here doing nothing. mind really carries yourself elsewhere, maybe you can count the breaths or exaggerate how much air you take in. Just take a few more breaths here. Together, take a really deep breath in, breathe all the way up to the chest, to the collarbones, and then sense of ease as you exhale and let it go. And roll onto your left, roulez sur votre côté gauche, restez ici pour un moment. You can support your head, and just kind of like a small ball shape on your side. And then press yourself up to a seated position so that you can sit on your shins and rest your hands on your thighs. Just ending our practice in a seated position the way that we started. And it's nice to bring hands to the center of your chest and have eyes closed. And you showed up for yourself and you showed up for the collective by choosing to practice here for a beautiful day, a beautiful cause. And truth is, when we take care of ourselves, we um, are able to take care of others. So congratulate yourself um, for showing up and taking time to tune into your breath, your body, and honoring the body that you are and the person that you are, because that has a ripple effect into the rest of the world. So we always end by saying namaste, and that just means divine in me recognizes divine in you, and we are all equal. So namaste. Thank you all for joining.